Hi everyone, welcome to my baby bag video. I've actually wanted to film this for so long. As you can imagine, someone that likes handbags. This was an exciting journey, researching what bags to get. Just need to get comfy. Oh God, all the, all the effort just to sit down. Um, I have to literally sit down in all of my walls now. Oh, just give me a second. So, this video, I have three baby bags. Um, and I'll explain why I went for three baby bags. I only wanted one and this is the main one. Um, but I'm just going to obviously just show you the bags that I have and then talk you through why I chose these and the practicality and different price ranges. One that's like super duper practical for one thing, one that's super duper practical for something completely separate and one thing that is... Um, kind of like not so mumsy but really good for a baby bag and I've just realised that I'm actually going to get I think I'm sitting back too much but I'm, this is going to have to do because I'm too uncomfortable I'm going to get Paris to come in and show you his baby bag I'm not even sure he's showered yet but okay so the first one this is my main baby bag this one was gifted to me um just to be completely transparent with you but I found somewhere where the price is the best because actually this is weirdly different prices in different places so the place where I'm going to link it is the best the best place to buy it price wise so and then they have lots of other accessories to go with it so the reason why I chose this one is after lots of research I always thought I was going to go for a super brand <coughs> this Chanel is a given. I always thought I'd have a Chanel one and they brought out a Dior one that I really really liked as well and the reason why I didn't go with the Chanel one, one it was like it was super pricey but it was mainly because they weren't as practical. I realised very quickly I wanted a diaper bag because you need practicality with a baby. I wanted all the compartments I wanted literally all, all the little compartments. I didn't want to just have one open space and we meant to buy a Chanel one really, really early on and it was wipeable. It was very sporty looking. I would say it was more of a gym bag than a baby bag. It was about this size and it was actually Paris that said, <laughs> if this is the one you really want, get it. But you need your hands free. This is two top handles. You couldn't even get it over here, especially him. And he just said it's really not practical, you're going to have to have a second one and you'll have to get a hook for the pram, it's, it's not, you know, it's not like wide enough to go over it. And he was right, so that's when I was like really looking for a diaper bag. So I found this very, very early on. I just basically went on to all of my favourite websites, this one, and then I just, I just searched in the, the search bar, diaper bags, and it's surprising how many there are not, they're not about. This had everything and I spent about at least five months just checking everything out. So not to find something better, just, just to make sure I'd looked at everything and this one always came back tops. So everyone probably realised that I, I don't, if you know me that is, I don't wear that much Gucci but I just loved it during my pregnancy. I love the Gucci baby clothes. I did a like a little bump shoot in a Gucci leotard and I just love it. I love this this vintage print. I love the fabric of, on the outside. It's so durable and wipeable. I love it that it's Velcro and so easy. It has a back pocket here for anything that you need. It has the two here. I'm going to show you what I have inside. Oh, oh sorry, I had to go and get a few bits. So um, if the lighting's changed, I had to go and get a few bits. So. Let's take a look inside. I can't remember where I'd got up to, but um, so we discussed the outside, I think, how it's so durable, has all the compartments. I don't have everything I plan on having in my baby bag, so if I've, I'm still waiting on a few bits to be ordered, I should probably sit up a bit, really. Um, yeah, so a few, few bits that I forgot to uh, haven't had ordered. Ah! Uh, oh! I have an order but they're not arrived yet, but if you think as a mum 
and there's something essential that I'm forgetting in here, please do let me know. I'm sure I'll learn as I go along, but any tips or suggestions is highly welcome. So I love the Velcro, just how easy it is. So inside it has uh, like a nylon fabric. It has a huge compartment at the back, which is where I put the nappies. And then another two here, I thought one would be nice for a bottle, this compartment here, and then the open space in the middle. I couldn't believe it came with a Gucci changing mat. So I went to put in this mat that I've got. So I have the baby changing mat here, one for here, one for the flat. And then I bought two foldable travel ones for our baby bags. But the one that I bought Paris for his birthday came with a baby bag, a baby uh, changing mat. And so this one, I couldn't believe it. How fancy, look, a Gucci print. It's all like squashy and quilted, wipeable. I was kind of blown away by that. I think it's one of the best parts of the bag. Um, so I didn't need that, but I'm going to use the foldable ones, the travel ones that I bought. I'll link them below because they're really, really pretty. Small business owner from, from England. And I'm going to leave them, I'll leave one in the car and then I'll put one in the third baby bag that I have here. So always can use them. I've got a little rattle toy in here. I think I will, I've got lots of pacifiers. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about using them yet, but I've got them and I've got the same brand that I have the bottle. I've got a few bottles because I do plan, I plan on breastfeeding, but obviously I plan on pumping as well. So some milk on the go, especially if Paris has him on his own which of course will happen. Um, now, the um, I've actually put quite a lot of research into the nappies that we're using, and I found the best nappy brand. So this is a brand called Kit and Kin. How lovely are they? I mean, I was totally drawn to the print, I'm not going to lie, but I was researching a sustainable nappy brand. I just wanna show you all the prints. So the prints go by the, the age and size of the nappies. So these two are the naught, I think they're naught, so like newborn size. I've got both covered in here just in case. Um, I take it he'll use that when he comes out of the hospital, but I don't know, he might be really big. And then, so it makes it really easy to see what size the nappies are. And then that's the next size up, like a panda and a bear. So, so cute. And actually, after I had um, put some more research into the brand, it's actually one of the owners is Emma Bunton from the Spice Girls. So anyone that's my age, I mean everyone loves the Spice Girls, but particularly my generation, that just makes it a little bit more exciting. Um, but it's a sustainable, so I've got a really itchy hand for some reason. It's a sustainable nappy brand. Um, I'll leave more details in the description box. I have the wet wipes as well, but they're actually, um, I'm waiting for a new order of those because I have some at the flat. So the wipes are 100% recyclable. Um, let me just make sure I get the percentage right. 99% water, 100% biogradable and 0% plastic, which for me was the best that I found. So definitely check out those. And they also do like the odd little um, like fashion, like cardigans and hats, really cute hats and things like that. It's a really lovely British brand. So I've got a couple of bits for baby girls in here. I'll definitely put like a basic white one in there as well. But uh, whilst I'm here, I want to show you one of my ultimate favourite um, baby girl brands. This brand is so amazing. It's a really small brand that my friend introduced me to. I hadn't heard of them before. It's the most, oh, it's so soft, 100% cotton. The prices, I can't believe the prices. The prices are so affordable compared to, I mean, this to me looks really spectacular. Look at the detail on the print. And you can get every print in all different kinds of baby grows. So like the poppers will be different. They'll have short arms, short legs, all different kinds of bibs. I have a, obviously I have an extra bib in my baby bag. And what size is that? Um, and they have the, the handkerchief bandana bibs as well. So you can get the or traditional bib or you can get the bandana kind of, kind of style, which I love. Officially the best prints for baby grows. They are so beautiful. I mean, look at this little bunny one. I have a lemon one, a cowboy one. The girls are to die for as well, but such a beautiful 
really affordable and I don't like saying affordable because it's subjective but I'm talking in regards to the quality, the uniqueness of the print. I probably shouldn't say this because they might watch it but they, they could charge a lot more for these because of the quality, um, the service was amazing and the prints are just so beautiful like what a beautiful little baby girl so i'll keep a couple of these in here a couple of white ones for emergencies you know like some really basic ones but definitely some bibs some baby grows this bag has got so much room in it and it's so light as well i mean i've got a fair bit in here not a lot it's not like i've got like bottles with milk and liquid in it but definitely the lightest that I came across. So that's what I've got in there at the moment. Uh, the bottles that I use, um, I actually got really amazing help on my Instagram. I asked everyone on there. I'm so grateful for the mummy help I get because it's been such a good source for me. Um, but yeah, I, I went for the mama ones and I've used the same pacifier. I'm not sure how I feel about using pacifiers, but I've got them anyway. Um, and they're most, they're like um, colic, anti-colic and quite similar to the breast lift as well. <laughs> I'm pathetic, aren't I? Oh God, it's because there's no core muscles anymore. So this is my breast pump. This is, um, well I've actually got a breast pump for the flat because I really didn't want to be having um, to let, let bring essentials to and fro and the other one that I have is slightly different so when I show you my setup in the flat I'm going to show I'm going to talk you through that one um, but this is my breast pump it's the LV pump and I had these have got really good reviews from my friends and this is oh here look you can see here so it's a cordless one on the go and it's tiny, so my friend when I went to Paris, she was actually pumping as we were out and about, and it just sits in your bar like this. So it's really small to put in, in, your, in your bag. She actually had a maxi Chanel bag, and she had them in there. So I just thought it was so practical. The pump is meant to be really good as well. So I plan on taking that in my baby bag, but to be honest, after seeing my friend with it, it seems that you can just put it in most bags as well. So that's the first one. I'm really, really happy with it. I mentioned, no, that video is not out yet, but I mentioned, I, I mentioned in another video how I really want the suitcase to go with this. So because obviously I'm going to be traveling with this all the time, I really want the matching suitcase, which I'll link below but really over the moon with this bag. It, it looks so great. I have a couple of different primes and different colours and I just love how that, oh sorry, how that just goes with everything. Now, the second one, this is not a baby bag, but when, you've already seen this in, in one, of my, one of my styling hauls, but I did pick this in mind to be practical for the baby bits. And when I ordered it, you've seen that haul, I thought it was the bigger size to be more practical for the baby bag. With that said, I love this bag because I prefer the smaller one. These two other baby bags that I have are much bigger and it's actually a really decent size. What's that bright thing? Oh, this is my new obsession of bows. It's because I had it from the other hall. I'll link that below. Such an amazing bow. So um, yeah, it's actually got so much room inside and I do often use smaller bags so for me this is quite a big bag especially with like how bucket room it is and it actually has some really practical compartments like I could fit three nappies there there's another compartment here I could literally put my purse in the zipper and then have all this free for all the baby bits and my yeah so I wouldn't need much more room because I normally just take my essentials out with me but with the baby it gives me that much more room I love it that it's light I love it that it has this long strap so that it means that it can go over the buggy which was a massive plus for well kind of essential for a baby bag because it needs to hang over like that so I'm really pleased it's actually the smaller one and if you have a girl it comes in pink as well I, ha I used this the other day and I was just getting out of the dust bag and I had lipstick on my finger and marked it but I've got quite a few canvas bags and it's really easy to get any stains out I find them quite durable so this is a nice me bag but really practical for mum's bag so not so much a baby bag but it's a nice summer bag that's good for mums with with a baby 
I definitely think so. It's how it's light, it's got the long strap, it's got the compartments, it's a nice size and I just think that's going to look really nice over my over my pram. So definitely going to be using that a lot. It's not like I can't use that when I've got the baby. Oof. So the final bag I want to show you, and I think this is, oh look what I've got in here. So this is a really beautiful brand that my friend, another from my friend introduced me to. I just put that in there because I was bringing it up to the nursery. So these are Pram mobiles um, and they're handmade. She lives in America, small business owner. And I have this one and a black and gray one to match my, my prams. And you've probably seen them in my other hauls, but she does rattles. Like this is a mobile that goes on the front of the pram, but she does um, like rattles, as teddies, the most beautiful things. So this is um, a large, an extra large tote. It's more of an affordable brand. As you can see, it looks very much like the Chanel Deville, which I have. So this is coming from someone that has a Chanel Deville and I have it in gray as well. My Chanel Deville is slightly smaller than this. This is a lot lighter, where this doesn't feel like raw leather, but it's made it really light. Um, and I love it how they do different sizes. So I actually have a medium one, which I'll put, I'll put a cutaway here so you can see it. You might want to have a medium one, but because I already have a medium one, I have like a summer bag with my initials on. They personalize everything. The medium one I have has got my CC initials. And then this, I really wanted a big one and they have mama on it and uh, I know I'm not having a girl but I just like the pink you know I'm the mama so I wanted it I've got enough baby blue as you can see and I just love how big it is and I just think this is really wonderful for traveling I keep seeing myself and I, and I keep looking because I look like I'm really small but it's just really comfortable being here I'll make more of the effort and sit up for you um that's slightly better um, so yeah, it's really light, you can really pack it, it won't be too heavy. I thought it was really nice for travelling, um, but also alternatively a beach bag. Like the lilac one that I have, I think is a really nice holiday bag. So they're not mummy bags, they're just totes that are really great for all, all occasions. Holiday, summer bag, gym bag, work bag, and there's so many different sizes. I really want one of the small ones. And they come with a long chain, literally like a Chanel Deville set up. But these also have a zip, which the Chanel Deville doesn't. It has a popper, and I actually prefer the zip because it's more practical. And they have a zipper inside. So it's just basically one huge bucket bag, and I plan on taking this to the hospital. So I will have a suitcase, and the reason why I have a suitcase is it's very strict with the COVID. So once Paris is in, he is not allowed out, and if I forget anything essential, he's not allowed to nip home because we live five minutes from the Chelsea Hospital. Um, or say I, I'm craving something, I don't know, a drink, snacks, or I need another nighty or more knickers, he's not allowed to leave. No one can come and bring me anything. So I do have to overpack, and this terrifies me because I'm the most unorganised, unprepared person for every scenario. So I'm going to have to overpack. So um, I'm going to bring this for I think all of my bits. Who knows, I haven't done anything yet. So I am going to film what I'm taking to the hospital. Please, 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 because I'm so unorganized. If you think that there's something that someone we should told you to take to the hospital, bearing in mind, once I'm in, no one, Paris is not allowed out. Like I said, no one's allowed to bring me anything. Please tell me what I need. Please, I'm begging you, because I'm terrified that I'm gonna, overpack and it'll be like you know when you're on holiday and I've forgotten that one essential thing or even worse looking back and saying thinking why did no one tell me this it wasn't in any of the lists I have a hospital list I have a couple that my friends gave me if there's anything that you think no one told me this or I found this the most useful for giving birth and being in hospital I'd, I'd be so grateful for you to tell me and also if there's anything you think I'm missing from my baby bag I'd be super grateful I'm probably going to get more out of this video than you so um thank you in advance so yeah this is just a really great baby bag for um well like i said it's kind of two in one holiday well, more than two in one but holiday beach bag um 
I would use this all the time. I just think they're really practical bags, but it's not as diaper practical as say the Gucci one, which I think is super practical. And and the Gucci one, I bear in mind that Paris is going to be using it as well. Okay, fine, I didn't get it like 50-50. It's obviously not his style as much as mine, but he can totally walk around with that one. He won't care anyway with this one, but this one is more, more for me, that and the Prada one. Um, so yeah, I won't talk about too much, but they're my bags. So I've got my main Gucci one that's super practical, super durable. My main go-to bag that covers everything I need, not too big, not too small, perfectly light. It's going to have all of my essentials in there. Um, I'm definitely going to keep that for the next baby if I'm, if I'm lucky enough to have another baby. Um, you can just see it's going to last forever. Really great for like the plane and travelling. Um, Paris has got his own bag as well, which I will get him to do this at the end. So I can see the camera flashing. I'll link everything below. I have a discount code for this one, 15% off. I'll leave that below. I have a discount code for the Prada and the Gucci. They're from separate places. Um, the discount code does not work for the Gucci. So sorry about that, but they have lots of other um, baby grows on there. Baby grows? Baby bags. Lots of choice and the Prada one, that website has got a discount as well. So I'll basically leave all, all the little information in the description box below. And now I'll leave you with Paris so he can show you his, his little baby bag that I got him. Is it filming? Oh, yeah. oh. I'll just stand then and bend so he would let you relax. Um, what face you pull while you're in the camera? I need to get a footstool so I can't bend like that. So I got him to show you his baby bag, but I just remembered one thing. I have a basket of muslins here. This is actually quite a big one, that was this one that I grabbed. I would put one of these in my baby bag, but not this huge one. This brand is, what is that brand that we like? Adis, Alice and A. Do I need a muslin to carry around? Yes. Look at that one. Just give me a cute one. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't bend around. Can't it's you? Can't you grab one that you like? Uh, yeah, rubbers. Love rubbers. My mum got that one. So this is um, I'll leave this below. It's Anna and Eden. Aiden? Mhm. Mm is that what it's called? It's an it. Anna's. Yeah. I really love these ones, but they're more of home ones. But you, okay. So do you wanna? You wanted me to sit with him. What do I do? You're going to show everyone your baby bag and what you've got, what you wanted to put inside. This is my baby bag. Inside. Oh. Is this your bag? Bag haul. It is my first ever bag haul. So inside my bag, I have a baby mat. Never been used, as you can see. That's the one that I was telling you about. So if I'm in an airport one day, go to the toilet, whoosh -ching, and then I can change him. There. A rabbit. You've got a rabbit thing. Distract him whilst I'm changing him. Hey! And what do you think of your baby bag? Because I picked it for you. Do you think it's a good one? Yeah, of course. Cause it's... Well, there's one thing that I love, and that makes the bag for me. Yo. Wipe the bum! Don't waste the wipe. No, you wasted it. Yeah, but it's just so fun. They're like hidden. That's what that is why I bought the bag. I really liked that. Okay. Uh, what else? You got a baby mat with it, didn't you? Baby mat? I showed the baby mat. Just yeah, now. but you got one with it, didn't you? Oh yeah, there's a black one that comes with it. I'll have two. Safety one. Diapers? No, what do we call them? Pineapples? Pineapple pants. Pineapple pants. So this is another brand. There's two brands of diaper brands and wet wipes. Um, they're both um, bi biodegradable. And this one is a Middle Eastern brand, but they are going to be selling in the UK. And they do really, really beautiful prints. My mum bought this. Changing kit. Daddy. So what is this for? This for the baby. Yeah, I know, but why have you got one in your bag? Uh, in case I need to change him, no? Mm hmm. Why well, might you need to change his clothes? If he poos himself. There you go. 
and it's all in compartments, and that's it. Well, well maybe there's something else in there. Well, there's fun pockets, but. And you've got pacifier and bottles. Oh, no, no, that's the other map that comes with it. Yeah. You would ha you would have a pacifier and bottles, wouldn't you? Pacifier. Yeah. What's that? A dummy, a dummy. Oh, yeah, there's somewhere. And a bottle. Yeah, and probably like a little kit for the changing because you might need more than wet wipes. Like maybe some little nappy rash cream. Like, like maybe I'll get you a smaller one of this. Or you could even have that one. A little butterfly, soft as moonlight. Nappy changing cream. So this is a really lovely brand. It's Little Butterfly London. Um, really nice brand for like baby bath, stretch mark cream. Oh, so you having that then? <laughs> you said I could. I well, know. it's for here, but I'll get I you one. I don't know what I need. So let him know if you, um, if daddies need anything else in their, in their baby bag. But this is good for you, isn't it? It's like durable, you wanted a backpack. Oh, you didn't show the thing where it clips on the pram. Oh yeah clips on the back. So it is a proper baby bag, it's not just a backpack. Clips on the back. On the go. And you've got a carrier as well, haven't you? Which we should have showed. It's a carrier. Uh, your baby Oh carrier. yeah, yeah. So he's been practicing with Bambi in it. Yeah, I got a little baby carrier. Like not those massive ones, just like a... Do you know what I'm going to show? Yeah. Well, do you tell them about your baby carrier, what the brand is, why you picked it? Because you picked and bought that yourself. Yeah, it's and Baby we can, Bjorn. We can put a cutaway. Well, I like the name, Baby Bjorn. I don't hear you talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> so I can't go downstairs unless you want to. It's in the pram. Do you want to unbox my baby carrier? So I've got two. That's not my baby carrier. I know it's mine. So I'll do a cutaway of his one and a cutaway of my second one. Got to recap the box, show them the beautiful box. I didn't explain why I got my one. <sighs> okay, so do you want to do that? Or just because it was the sleekest, like there's. It was you want to claim that practical. Yeah, I didn't want those huge ones with ropes everywhere and mm -hmm. stuff. I wanted something small and sleek, but it's only for babies. I think it's just for their first few months. I think it's not to twelve. So this is um, okay. a really famous brand, Arty Pop. Come, all the boxes come different. This is the fancy one now. Yeah, it's a really nice one. So this was a gift from my friend. And then the brand kindly gifted me one as well. I so, can wear that one. Now. Yeah, you can wear that. I'll just probably stain it after two days. You'll That's be, true. But you then I'll be like, that. oh, it's the baby, it wasn't me. No, but you it can't actually wear that. be me drooling. So I wanted um, just a, a classic like light colour, so this is the beautiful one with the feathers and then the one that I chose from the brand is a cloud one so I'll leave a cutaway of that and by the way I forgot to tell you this jumper is also in the 15% discount so I'll link it below so do you want to say thanks for watching, bye? Thanks for watching, a bientôt That's not even your language What? A bientôt What, well, you don't say a bientôt in French? No A plus A plus A plus mec, ciao